Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the second video of my mental map series, Lightning Fast Mental Map Calculation. In the first video, I have shown you 5 mental multiplication tricks to calculate faster than a calculator. In this video, I'll show you another multiplication trick named doubling and halving method. And not only that, I'll teach you some other small but very important tricks while solving the examples. So without any further ado, let's directly move to the maths. First, let's understand the basics with short numbers. You know, 6 times 8 is 48. If we double the first number, 6, and make it 12, what should we do to keep the result same, like 48? We need to halve the other component. Half of 8 is 4, and 12 times 4 is 48. So what I mean to say is, when we are multiplying two numbers, we need to make one component half if we make the other component double to keep the product same. I know 6 times 8 is very easy. No one needs to use this method for this particular calculation. But suppose we are multiplying 16 times 14. If we make 16 half of it, which is 8, and then take the double of 14, which is 28, we will get the same answer. And it is much easier to calculating 8 times 28 than calculating 16 times 14. But then again, if you find it difficult, you can repeat this process. You can take the half of 8 and double the other. It will be 4 times 56. Now we will not do any digit by digit multiplication since we are trying to be fast in mental math and also we won't even get that much time in the exam hall. We will do everything in mind. Now to calculate 4 times of any number, you just need to make it double twice. Double of 56 is 112 and Double of 112 is 224. So 16 times 14 is 224. You may find it difficult now since you are watching this for the first time, but I swear by practicing it regularly, this trick will make your life easier and make you fall in love with math for sure. Now, before moving to some interesting use of this method, let's practice one more with the similar numbers to make you a bit better with this method. Let's multiply 18 times 12. You can have the first number and double the other one. It will be 9 times 24. Now what will you do? Will you multiply digit by digit? No. You can easily do it by subtracting 24 from 240. Let me break it down for you. Multiplying any number with 10 is very easy. All you need to do is to put a 0 at the end. So 10 times of 24 is 240, right? Now, you just need to subtract 24 from it since we are actually calculating 9 times of 24. So, 240 minus 24 is 216. Don't do it digit by digit. Break it down for your mind. Make it 240 minus 20, which is 220. And 220 minus 4 is 216. Now, coming back to doubling and halving method. This method is very effective when one of the number is ending with 5. For example, 64 times 15. If you double the number carrying 5 at the end, the calculation will be super easy for you. So, take half of 64, which will be 32, and then make 15 double, which is 30. All you need to do is to find 3 times of 32, and then put a 0 at the end. Now, don't multiply digit by digit. Calculate it in your mind. 3 times of 30 is 90. And 3 times 2 is 6. So 3 times 32 will be 96. And let's add a 0 at the end. It will be 960, the product of 64 times 15. Look how easy the method is. You just need to practice it a lot. Let's see one more. 24 times 25. We know we will double 25. So let's have the other one. It will be 12 times 50. We know 5 times 12 is 60. Now, adding a 0 will make it 600, the final product of 24 times 25. See, that in first calculation. Now, moving to fractions. 1.5 times 42. We will double the 1, carrying 5 at the end. Double of 1.5 is 3. So, now we need to have the other 1. Half of 42 is 21. So, 3 times of 21 is 60 plus 3 or 63. So, 1.5 times 42 is? 63. Very easy, right? Now, 3.5 times 22. 
Can you do it? Take three seconds and try it. Double of 3.5 is 7 and 7 times 11 is 77. See, lightening first. 11 was the half of 22. So we got 77 as the product of 3.5 times 22. Now let's talk about when to use this method. You have already learned the basics of this method and you know how to do it. Will you use this all the time? No, not always. Our main goal is to make calculation faster. We will use different tools to encounter different types of math. For example, if you find the math 13 times 17, will you use this method? No, it may take some time because of the fraction calculation. Yes, this is solvable but time consuming. 6.5 times 34 or 26 times 8.5 can take time for you. It's easier for me because I know some other supporting tools which I will teach you in other videos. But for this one, we will use another method called split and merge which I will show you in the next video. Okay? You will find it in the cards or at the end screen once I publish it. So practice as much as you can and identify when to use this method and when not to.